Hi dears, this is Ehsan. Today we are going to learn about cosine similarity. Before we delve into the topic, we are going to define what our topic will cover today. First of all, we look into the terminologies which we will use throughout this session. Then we will see what particular formula will help us to calculate this cosine similarity. After that, we will perform some hands-on calculations. Then we will draw some conclusion from the previous step results. And finally, we will see what this formula has drawbacks in it or what things which cosine similarity does not address. So let's see which terminologies we will use frequently in this topic. First of all, utility matrix. This matrix which looks like a table contains some numerical values. This whole table is termed as utility matrix. These numerical values are termed as ratings ranging from 1 to 5. As you can see no value is less than 1 or greater than 5. Leftmost column of the utility matrix contain the user. A, B, C and D are users. The topmost row contain the list of items. Here we are taking movies names as items. So our utility matrix contain the ratings of each user against each movie. I have expanded the abbreviation of each movie name in right bottom corner. This is the formula where we want to find the similarity of likeness and dislikeness between user X and Y. Later on, we will replace the users X and Y with A, B, C or T according to our example. The nominator of the numerator of this formula contain the rating which are common between user X and Y. And then we have to multiply those ratings. If we look into the previous slide, 3, 3 and 2 are common ratings between user A and B. So we will multiply it. This will give the denominator of the formula. This will give this nominator. So for calculating the denominator of the formula, we will take norm of rating of each user which are under examine and then we multiply it. Let's take an example. Suppose we want to find the cosine similarity of user A and B. According to formula, first of all, we have to see from the utility matrix what are the ratings which are common between A and B. If we look into the utility matrix, here 3 and 2 are the common ratings between A and B. So we will feed them into our formula which is similarity similarity between A 
and B equals to as we know the denominator contain the common rating here 3 and 2 are common ratings between A and B so 3 multiply by 2 divided by 4 denominator we will take the norm of each rating of user A and B so 3 square plus 5 square and we will take the under root multiply by ratings of B 2 square plus 3 square plus 3 square plus 4 square 3 multiply by 2 is 6 divided by 3 square and plus 5 square it will give 5.839831 multiply by 6.164 if we divide it it will give us 0.167 so similarity that is cosine similarity equals of A and B equals to 0 0.167 Till now we have seen the example which which have only one rating as common. The question arises how we will deal with the problem if we have more than one rating as common. Let's take an, another example. If we look into the utility matrix here A and C have more than one rating as common that is 3 5 and 5 and 4 so let's calculate the similarity between A and C similarity or cosine similarity between A and C will be equal to 3 multiply by 5 and we just introdu introduce the plus sign between the common ratings and 5 multiply by 4 now the denominator will remain the same we have to take the norm of each rating of user A and C similarly as we have done in the previous example it turns out that 3 square plus 5 square multiply by 5 square plus 4 square plus 4 square plus 5 square equals to 15 plus 20 that is 5 threes are 15 and 5 fours are 20 divided by if we take if we solve this and this it turns out 5.831 multiply by 9.055 equals to 35 divided by 
52.801 it implies 0.662 so cosine similarity of a and c equals to 0.662 and we have done with that now it's time to draw conclusion from the previous step results we have seen that cosine similarity of a and b is 0 0.167 and cosine similarity of a and c is 0 0.662 to understand these results, we should know the property of cosine function which says that as you increase as you increase the angle, cosine value will decrease. I have shown this phenomena in table on right hand side. In our results, we can see A is more closer to C then B so greater similarity mean smaller angle and user are very similar in liking or disliking the things here are some drawbacks of cosine similarity cosine similarity treats the blank cell of utility matrix as zero. Zero means that a user has disliked the product or item while actually he or she doesn't contribute in ratings. For filling the blank space or blank cells of the utility matrix, we have to make prediction like stochastic gradient descent. While cosine similarity does not help us in predicting the ratings thank you so much for watching my video see you in next tutorial please like and subscribe my channel for more videos